welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be diving into the new Bloodlust palette from Jeffree Star. I wanted to play it up today, so I did throw on a wig. I want to try new things this year, and what better time than a time like this? Shipping for the Conspiracy palette and the Bloodlust for me has been insane. Like it took forever to get them. Um, and in the past, it was never like that. It was usually like a day or two of processing. And then like I literally had it in my hand like that following week. So I planned to film with this a long time ago and then never got it. And it took a very long time to finally get it. And I had tons of other videos planned ahead of time. <laughs> so here I am, super late to the game. But I'm going to try to film this. I am filming this, um, I believe today is the 26th. I don't have my watch on me, but so I can't really check. Oh, my phone's over here. Yes, it's the 26th. And I just seen on Instagram earlier that Jeffree Star is um, restocking the Bloodlust. And I think some of like the lip products or something like that on the 27th. So I'm gonna try to get this filmed tonight. I have another video to film and then I'm hoping that I can start the editing process and hopefully get it up for you guys tomorrow on the day of the restock. I don't know exactly what time I'll be able to get this up for you guys, but hopefully it is not sold out by the time you guys see this, if you guys did miss out on the first launch of it. I know it was pretty crazy, but I did end up getting just the palette. I didn't end up getting anything else with it. Um, I literally was just like the fear of it selling out and me not being able to get it. So that's kind of why I just grabbed the palette and checked out real quick. But yeah, then it just took forever to get here. But this is his new baby, the Bloodlust Artistry Palette. I love the packaging so much, the shape, everything. And I love how he is with his packaging. Like I love that there's like the little bumper in here to protect the palette. And then the actual palette. It is so beautiful. Um, I'm always so excited for what designs, what shades, everything in his palettes are just always so cool. And I really do like this palette. I think it's really cool, but I can say if just, I'm so scared about opening it because I'm afraid it's going to like snap off or break, kind of like the Alien palette packaging. But it does have a good size mirror. And then these are the shades. They are a little messy because I swatched them earlier today. You guys would have seen those swatches at the beginning of this video. They swatched really pretty. The mattes were definitely pigmented. I know that a lot of these, um, I believe, it's been a minute since I've watched that video, but I believe a lot of these are pressed pigments. Um, and then there is metallics and there's also a new formula that he put in here that um, is like a sheer metallic that looks more like wet on your eyes. But with that being said, I am a little nervous to try out this palette because I've heard from a few different people, I try not to watch too many reviews on something like this that I'll be getting and doing a video on because I want it to be my authentic and first impressions for you guys, but I have seen quite a few people say that this palette has been burning their lids and really aggravating them, turning them puffy and red. So I am a little worried about that and I really hope it doesn't do that because I have a lot of filming to do the next few days. So hopefully that's not the case. I would really hate to have to discontinue a palette like this as well. So let's hope that that's not the case. I'm gonna go light and fairy light today in shades, keeping it pretty simple, but still being able to dip in and see what some of these shades are like and give you guys a first impressions on it. I will definitely be doing a four looks as long as my lids survive after this, but I can say pressed pigments are not meant for your eyes. Um, and it actually will say that. Yes, right here on the back, it says attention, pressed pigments, and then it lists every single one of them that are pressed pigments, says are not intended for use around the immediate eye area. So a lot of people, I mean, if we did that, people would never use eyeshadow palettes. The Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette has pressed pigments. Um, I'm pretty sure the James Charles palette has pressed pigments. So everybody uses them around their eyes anyways, but you have to do it at your own risk, pretty much. But they are not intended for the eye area, so that might be why there is some burning going on. 
It did come with a nice little slip in here I wanted to mention, but I did already take it out. It is rather like heavy to hold up. Um, it would be perfect like if you're traveling or something like that and you wanted to take this palette with you to prop up to use the mirror, but I am going just to be using my red Jeffree Star mirror today. And yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this. I did forget to put some eye primer on, so I'm going to do that real quick. All right, now that I have some ABH eye primer on, I'm going to be jumping into the palette. I do want to go somewhat purple today. I know I've been doing a lot of purple looks lately, but this is the Bloodlust. It is very purple. Um, I really like that there is a variety of shades in this palette, though, so it's not so purple either. I know some people are really mad about that, but... Um, I actually really enjoy the color story a lot with this palette, and I love that the purples that are in here are very unique purples. I'm really wanting to go into Blood Queen, which is that purple over there. It's really pretty. Maybe a little bit of Vivid Mood, this purple here. Maybe Take the Crown. We will see. I'm going to first start with Vivid Moon. I've been filming with the Sailor Moon palette. Vivid Mood is what I'm going to dip in first, which is a very bright purple. Or it's like the same exact shade as the shirt I'm wearing, and it reminds me a lot of the purple that's in the Kylie X Stormy palette that I recently filmed with. I think Look One was very lilac purple, and the shade reminds me of that a lot. But I'm going to start with blending this eye, this eyeshadow right in the crease and start blowing out the purple. Now I'm going to be taking Take the Crown, which is this beautiful metallic purple here, and I'm going to be placing this on the lid space. I'm also going to be using that shade as a little um, highlight. Since we're really taking it there with the purple. And then going back into Vivid Mood, I'm going to be running that shade right in the crease. And now I'm going to be going into Blood Queen, which is that bright purple, or not bright, but the deeper purple I talked about a while ago. And I'm going to work this shade on the outer part of my eye. So I went ahead and finished up this look and I didn't show you guys um, the process of the lower lash line because the only thing I did differently was take a little bit more of Blood Queen um, and run that along my lower lash line but that is pretty much it. This wig kind of keeps blocking the eyeshadow but um, I overall think the look is really cool and um, the purples I'm just... I'm always so blown away by his formula in general, but I can say this palette was super easy to work with and I was amazed at how fast I got this eye look with the two different mattes. Like, just, they just blended just like that. Like, it was so quick. I mean, just beautifully. I am really impressed so far. I don't have any irritation going on um, as of now. I'll keep you guys updated because I will go ahead and do my four looks. And if something happens or they start feeling irritated or something like that, I'll update you guys somehow, either on my Instagram or in my four looks. I'll try to go ahead and continue on with that. And even if I only get to look two, look three, I'll still upload it and let you guys know how it's going. But so far, I haven't had any issues. I don't really think I'm going to, so I'm gonna keep playing around with it and do a four looks for you guys. But yeah, I really like how it looks. Um, I'm really intrigued by the new formula too. I want to make sure I dip into that in the four looks. I did not today. The metallic that I used, I'm pretty sure it's just one of his regular metallics um, formula. Yeah, it's just stunning though. His metallics are so buttery and just creamy. I love the metallic so much, but the mattes are super pigmented, pressed pigment, and they just blended so nicely. I didn't experience like any choppiness, patchiness, anything like that. They just blended so nicely. Ugh, I just love this formula so much. I fall in love with it every single time. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. I want to definitely be playing it up with some wigs and having more fun and being creative because this is like my really creative outlet. So I hope you guys don't mind. I am a newbie at wigs. It'll take me a little while to get better at them, but this is just for fun. So I don't care. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me some thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I'm going to try to get this posted um, the day of the restock. So hopefully there'll be some by the time you guys see this. Or maybe you'll be able to grab one right before you watch this. And in a couple weeks, I'll have a four looks, one palette for you guys. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.